We have Stalin Dayanand, an activist, also joining us, uh, uh, one of the most diverse voices uh, against this project that when the BJP had taken, up, uh, taken it up. Thank you for joining us. How do you look at this decision that has been taken by Devendra Fadnavis the moment he was running as the deputy CM? <laughs> Sorry, I missed the question. Could you repeat it, please? Um, Mr. Stalin, the decision taken by Devendra Fadnavis, the moment he became the deputy chief minister, this was one of the first decisions taken. Despite a lot of opposition that has come in, uh, Devendra Fadnavis remains firm on his decision. Devendra Fadnavis' decision is based on the promises he has made to the developers for selling the Kanjurmarg land. He has no love for environment or forest or whatever. So, uh, we are not surprised that we were sure that if, if a chance comes, he will definitely push for the shed in RA, not just the car shed, he will bulldoze all the environmental areas of Mumbai, Maharashtra, and we are not surprised one bit. But it was a battle of truth versus lies, and uh, eventually the truth will prevail. We have the documents to back up what we are saying. It's not that we are making uh, tall claims or, or allegations. So it was expected, and we will uh, we will resist it. In any case, the Honorable Supreme Court protected the forests of RA. Uh, Mr. Fadnavis's government had gone to the Supreme Court and informed that there is no forest in RA, and it was only a government land with some buildings on it and slums in it. Today, Mumbai has 812 acres of forest thanks to a sensitive and compassionate ex chief minister mr uddhav thakre and now mr fadnavis wants to re to undo all the good work which was done by the earlier government and uh, we will we will what you call it oppose it and we will do from my citizens point of view democratically whatever is available to us we will use and we will try and stop it um, but you know the uh, defense that has come in from the bjp is that if this decision is not taken if uh, the metro shed is not in the aro colony are colony then it will delay the project by about 3 to 5 years not just that the cost will also shoot up to over 2000 crores see this is a complete lie which is being propagated the the uh, the kanjurmarg land was supposed to be used for four metro car shed six which is almost completed as is stuck because of a lack which Mr. Fadnavis himself has allotted at Kanjur Mark. Mr. Fadnavis himself in 2016 has submitted in the High Court that Kanjur Mark is best land and the RA should be protected. Now, after the developers started taking interest, Mr. Fadnavis started singing a different tune. So we are not surprised. I said the facts are very open and we have always uh, told Mr. Fadnavis and whoever supports him that let us have an open debate. We will prove our case. Uh, we have that. Okay, all right. So, so what's the next move now? Because Devendra Fadnavis uh, has already said that it's going to happen. Uh, the new chief minister, Eknath Shinde, has also supported this move. So, so the state government is going ahead with this decision. So, um, you know, the previous government had overturned this decision after a lot of protests. So what's the next move now? Mr. Shinde himself in 2020 is, uh, has tweeted, has said in public that the Kanjurmarg land should be used for the metro car shed. Now the political compulsions, the economic compulsions, whatever may be, for both these partners, this unholy alliance which has come into power today, Mr. Shinde and Mr. Fadnavis, they will have to find reasons to tell the public why they are backtracking. Instead of using the IT cell to spread a false narrative and bombard citizens with falsehood come out and have it let's have it on your show let's have a live show on your on your on your channel and we will prove that both these people are lying okay okay all right thank you for joining us